Playing music with the Tio app is easy. Just launch the app, navigate to the space you want to play music in, and press the music icon. On the right-hand side of the music page, you'll find your source selection page. After choosing your source, simply navigate through the menus to find what you're looking for. After selecting a song or internet radio station, the song information will be displayed on the left-hand side. On the bottom, you have your pause and play controls, and just above these controls you'll find your volume slider. Next to the volume slider, there's also a mute button. Stream Share is the ability to connect multiple audio elements together and play the same music in more than one space with less than a 10 millisecond cumulative delay. The Stream Share button is visible on the music page when audio is playing. To create a Stream Share, just press the button. The Stream Share menu will pop up, allowing you to add spaces to the Stream Share just by checking the box next to the space. Once you've got the party going, just press OK to finish. TO Audio Elements have Apple AirPlay built in. It's important to note that AirPlay can only be used from compatible Apple iOS devices. If you're using your TO Audio Elements in standalone mode, they'll show up automatically in your AirPlay list. If you have a full TO system, please follow these steps. To use Apple AirPlay, connect directly to the MC by using the password visible in the system setting page. The name of the MC's network will start with TO. Just copy and paste this password in order to connect. Once you're connected directly to the MC, all the available audio elements will show up in your AirPlay list. TO Audio Elements have Chromecast built in. If you're using your TO Audio Elements in standalone mode, they'll show up automatically in your Chromecast built-in compatible app. If you have a full TO system, please follow these steps. To use Chromecast built-in, connect directly to the MC by using the password visible in the System Settings page. The name of the MC's network will start with TO. Just copy and paste this password in order to connect. If you're on Android, you can also use WPS to connect by navigating to your Wi-Fi settings and finding the WPS push button option. Press the WPS push button option and within two minutes, Press and hold the button labeled WPS on the MC until the power light begins flashing rapidly. Once you're connected directly to the MC, all the available audio elements will be available to cast to from any compatible app. You can also group your Chromecast-enabled audio elements to play the same song in every room. From your iPhone or Android device, open the Google Home app. Click on the icon on the top right corner and then tap the device card menu and select Create Group. Create a name for the group, select speakers to include, and press Save. TO Audio Elements have Spotify Connect. If you're using your TO Audio Elements in standalone mode, they'll show up automatically in your Spotify devices list. To use Spotify Connect, make sure you're connected to your home network or the MC's network. All the available audio elements will be visible in the Spotify app in the Devices list. After connecting the initial time, Spotify will remember your devices and will allow you to play your music from any network with internet access. Premium services such as Tidal, Deezer, Napster and more can be added to the TO system through the Music Settings page. On the Music Settings page, scroll down and press the Manage Accounts button. If you haven't added any accounts before, select the account you'd like to add by tapping on the appropriate icon. Next, enter your username and password and click the Save button. If your login was successful, you'll be taken to a list of current accounts. If you already have accounts in your system, then the Accounts list will have an Add Subscription Account button at the top. Select this and follow the previous steps. If you don't already have a subscription to the above accounts, touch here for a directory of music services you can add. The LED light on the SS1 can be manually disabled from the Music Settings page. Simply navigate to the Music Settings page, scroll down to LED light, and tap the toggle switch. The LED on the front of the SS1 will immediately change to reflect the new setting. On a non-standalone system, you have the option to rename the optical input source. 
This can be used to make the interface more friendly to new users. For example, if a CD player is connected, you may want to rename the source to CD Player. To rename the optical input, navigate to the Music Settings page and scroll down to Rename Audio In. Tap the current name on the right and you'll be prompted to enter a new name. Enter your new name and press the Save button. Factory Reset can be used to wipe all data from an audio element. This includes music accounts and passwords, Wi-Fi settings, and any additional data on the device that may be used by the services. It's important to note that if your SS1 was connected to the network over Wi-Fi, you'll have to connect an Ethernet cable to repair the SS1 with your system. To factory reset your audio element, start by logging into Pro Mode, and then navigating to the Music Settings page. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and press the Factory Reset button. A confirmation dialog will pop up, asking you to confirm your choice to wipe all the data from the element.